Lakes Region Humane Society. I'm Megan Fichter and I'm the Managing Director here. Um, first I want to say Happy St. Patrick's Day from the pets. We hope you have a nice safe holiday. Um, secondly, we are in the market for foster homes. Kitten season is almost upon us and we'll be getting litters of unwanted kittens from spring through fall and maybe even through the next winter, um, which is unfortunate but would like to be prepared for that. Uh, we can't adopt out kittens until they're at least eight weeks of age. Um, and oftentimes kittens come into us a couple days old, a couple weeks old, um, and rather than have to house them in a cage, we'd prefer to house them in a house. That's where you come in. If you're interested in fostering kittens or have experience with pregnant um, mother cats who might be uh, giving birth, give us a call. Our number is 539-1077. Um, we will be uh, there's also a portion of our website which you can read about. It's uh, www.lrhs.net. It's a how to volunteer and foster tab, so check that out too. Um, there's an application process to be a foster parent, and we do have to do a home check to make sure that your house is safe for kittens. But once that's all out of the way, then you're a foster parent for a good year, and that means we can call you if um, litters of kittens come in ex. Um, unexpectedly and we need a hand with them. So if you're interested in helping us out that way, please do give a call or go online and fill out our foster family application. Um, also, reminder, um, it's time to get your dogs relicensed with your town, so check with your local town hall and see when the due date is for that. You'll need a current rabies vaccination um, to get that done. Um, fees are very, very small. It's about $7 on average, depending on the town, for an adult dog. So go ahead and get that done. That'll help an animal control officer trace the dog back to you if the dog gets lost. Um, plus, it'll keep you from getting fines if your dog gets busted without having a tag. Um, also, um, I just wanted to remind everybody that the Lakes Region Humane Society offers group dog training classes and private consults. So if you're having a little trouble with your dog and your dog's exhibiting um, perhaps a unique behavior that you don't really like, um, give us a call. We'll put you in touch with our dog trainer, Louise Daigle. She does one-on-one -on -one consults. Um, there's $60 for the first hour, and then depending on what your needs are, we can set you up for continued one-hour consults or half-hour consults regularly after that. Sometimes you need just one. Um, so give us a call if you have questions about that program. Um, lastly, on Saturday, March 25th, from 10 to 3 p.m., we're holding a CPR and first aid for pets certification class. Um, so if you want to learn how to help a choking dog or cat um, or do some basic first aid, or if you walk into the room and find that your dog is maybe unconscious but breathing and you want to know what to do before you actually can get them to the vet, um, this is a good class for you to take, maybe even if you're an animal professional and you'd like a little refresher course. Um, this might be the class for you. It is a five-hour class. It's kind of intensive. You want to wear comfortable clothes. If you're interested in registering, give us a call. Again, 539-1077. Um, it's also on our Facebook page if you want to check that out. Uh, the cost is $65 per person. It includes a workbook, um, two certifications, cards for when you've completed the program, and an emergency muzzle. Um, so if you want more information on that, again, give a call or check out our Facebook page. That's all I have for you today. Um, enjoy the weather. For some of you folks that don't know who I am and what I do here at the Lakes Region Humane Society, my name is Beth, and I'm an animal care tech here at the shelter in Ossipee. Um, if we are here to show um, all the animals up for adoption, some, some name, uh, weights, behavior, etc. Um, our goal and mission is to help these animals here find forever homes. Um, so if you have any questions about anything that you've seen, uh, feel free to come and visit us. You can check us on the web. You can call us. We would love to talk to you and help you find your forever home for your pet. I'd like to introduce uh, Miss Tabs. She's a one-year-old female tiger um, very fit and very trim um, cat here at our shelter in Ossipee, New Hampshire. And Miss Tabs is um, definitely, she's not crazy about people. So she'd be a great mouser. Um, we're thinking if somebody has um, a barn on their property, maybe horses or 
um, could you know, hang out in their garage and just come and go as she pleases. She'd be a, a fantastic mouser. Um, not crazy about people and not would not be crazy about um, being picked up and snuggled. She's definitely not happy about that. Um, she would be perfect for, for catching mice on someone's property and having a, a great time at it and, and doing what she loves. So definitely if you're interested in a barn cat or indoor outdoor mostly outdoor um, with access to, to shelter we would uh, love for you to call us um, she's microchipped she's up to date she's spayed so if you have any questions about miss tabs feel free to give us a call and we can have a conversation and we wish wish her the best she's um, just because she's not friendly to people does not mean that she's a, a, a nice cat and would be happy just not inside the building um, so if you have any questions, give us a call. And I'd like to introduce a beautiful cat, a female, up for adoption here at our shelter. Um, her name is Josie. Uh, she's a female spayed, about four years old. Um, she's a tortoiseshell, uh, quite, the, quite the snuggler. She likes to be scratched and petted. Um, she can live with other cats, but could probably take it or leave it. Um, she's just would be happy by herself too and getting some attention and some TLC. Um, she can be a little vocal when she's happy. She's got that sleepy look about her right now. Um, it's that nap time. Um, so if you have any questions about Josie or any of the other animals here up for adoption, you can give us a call at 1-603-539-1077. I'd like to introduce Ozzy. He is coming out of his shell, so he is worth mentioning, and he will audition a whole lot better now um, that he's had some of his roommates adopted, um, and we've learned a little bit about him. He is, he is very friendly, and he really is a very, very relaxed cat. Um, he just is a, so mellow um, that it's, you have to make sure that he's awake, because he's just so quiet and so relaxed. Um, Again, he can live with other cats. Um, he's, he's like the, the guru of how to be a relaxed cat. <laughs> he's just the sweetest guy. Um, he's up to date on all vaccines. Um, he really is probably one of the most relaxed cats that I've ever seen in years. Um, a true gentleman. Um, just wants his forever home. So please come by. Um, spend some time with Ozzy. Tell people about him. He's just wonderful. Um, he is still up for adoption, and we'd love to see him get adopted. He is worth the trip. I'd like to introduce Bella. She's about five years old. Um, she came to us um, from another shelter and has done pretty well here. Um, she's a little bit um, more reserved and not as outgoing as some of the other adult cats. Um, she tends to want to climb a little bit higher um, she would be happy in a fairly quiet home. Um, we find that she loves to be touched and just melts when you, when you, when you start to pet her. Um, but she probably would be not quite as prone to climbing up high and finding her own space with a, in her own home. Um, so she is very nice. Um, she's a, little, a small little cat, but she is an adult. She is up to date on all vaccines, microchipped, and is ready to be adopted. So come on by and see Miss Beautiful Bella. I'd like to introduce um, a female cat here in our shelter in Alsipi, New Hampshire. This is Griffin. She is, oh great, she's gonna come out and say hi. Uh, Griffin is an eight-year-old female, um, and she's got some skin allergies, so she needs to be on um, a little bit of a special diet um, to keep her skin from being so itchy. Um, and make her more comfortable. Um, she's a wonderful cat, very friendly. Um, she's a little bit older, so we're hoping for some, she'd probably not appreciate maybe some young kids um, running around, um, maybe a little bit of a quieter home, some older kids, um, a single person, um, maybe a senior citizen could adopt her, that would be, that would be wonderful. Um, she's a snuggle cat, she would jump up on your lap. Um, she's looking for attention. She's a wonderful girl and we're happy to have her, but we really would like her to be, to be adopted. 
So she's looking for her forever home. She she looks to be to be doted on, so that's what we're hoping to give her. So come on by and ask to see Griffin. I'd like to introduce Lily. She came to us um, on her surrender and was is a little shy and we spend a lot of time with her. We've had volunteers sit with her and talk to her. She seems to be um, still nervous um, and we were told that she hid in the house a lot of the time. Um, she's made some great progress. Um, she, you can touch her but it's on her own terms. Um, she seems to be making lots of progress and we'd really like to find her, um, her forever home. So we'd want to have a, a nice uh, discussion if you're interested in Lily. She is uh, very beautiful and we want to make sure she gets her, her great home and um, doesn't have to spend the winter here um, at the Humane Society. We'd like her to be uh, find the, the, the best match and have it be forever. So, so come on by and ask to see Miss Lily. I'd like to introduce um, a shy cat here at our shelter in Ossipee, New Hampshire. This is Tig. She's a, a female. She's a little skittish and she's not real crazy right now of, that I'm holding her. Um, she does get along with other cats fine and actually would be um, most happy and benefit from having another cat that has some confidence. Um, she did live with another cat before she came to us, so she would be, um, that would be her jackpot. She's about two years old, spayed, up to date on all vaccines, microchipped, as all our cats and dogs are. Um, so we're looking, her name is Tig, funny name, great cat. Um, so she is here at our shelter. So we're looking for someone that can spend some time with her. You know, I can, I can touch her and pick her up, but she's still a little shy. Um, she is worth the time and the effort. Um, she does chirp and say hello. So come on by and ask to see Miss Tig. Hi folks, I'd like to introduce another cat up for adoption here at our Humane Society in Ossipee, New Hampshire. Um, this is Uno. Um, Uno is a female. Um, I'm, hopefully she's auditioning to someone's liking. She loves to play. Um, she will definitely, um, she'd be happier by herself, but, or with another cat that would not mind her being, um, in charge. She's, um, doing okay with other cats in the room, but she'd probably like a little more space and a little more, um, privacy. Um, she's kind of feisty and a little sassy, um, which is, is nice. Um, she likes to play and... Definitely has a voice. Um, she came from the Laconia shelter, as Ozzy did. Um, they had too many cats and we had some space, so she was not surrendered from anything that she did wrong or Ozzy. They just had too many cats and not enough space, so that's the only reason that she's here. Um, and she's having a good time. So, so come on by, ask to see Uno or Ozzy or Josie, or Tig, or Dice, and we would love to show you the cats. I'd like to introduce Benji. She is about five years old. Um, she's up for adoption here at the Lakes Region Humane Society. She likes children, is fine, uh, considering her size. She is a big girl. Um, no issues with kids. Um, where um, we believe she'd be okay with some small a small dog. She's pretty affectionate um, with people, actually. Um, loves to be petted. Um, is a little bit um, reactive with other cats, so um, that would be something that we could talk about um, if you already have a cat and you're interested in the second cat. She's, so we're watching her, her figure while she's here. Um, she really is, is a nice girl. She's up to date on all vaccines. She's microchipped. Um, she did come with the name Benji, so we've kept it. Even though Benji sometimes is a boy's name, she's definitely a girl. Um, so if you have any interest in adopting Miss Benji, um, you can visit us while we're open or give us a call. We'd love to meet you and find help, help us find her forever home. Hi folks, I'd like to introduce Luna. She is a beautiful nine-year-old female. Um, she likes um, all ages of, of anybody. 
She loves everybody. Um, she'd be great with a dog. She has no problem living with cats. Um, she's lived with a couple cats here at our shelter for a little bit. Um, she'd be fine in someone's lap. She would be fine playing with a toy. She's a snuggler. Um, she's up to date on all vaccines. She's microchipped. Um, we can't believe that she's still here. She's just a beautiful cat. Very friendly, very affectionate. Um, can't think of anything bad to say about her except that she's not adopted. Um, so come on by. Um, feel free to come and visit Miss Luna. Um, tell your friends and neighbors about her. And we can find her her forever home. I'd like to introduce a gray Maine Coon cat up for adoption here at the Lakes Region Humane Society. Um, this is Mufasa. He is weighing in at a petite 15 pounds. Um, he came to us um, with some mats on him. That's why he's got some a uh, bit of a haircut in the back. Um, he's a long-haired guy, so we gotta make sure you keep up with that with that combing. Um, he is a beautiful cat, and like a lot of Maine Coon cats, they are just big and beautiful and happy and just he's a wonderful guy um so if anyone is looking for a Maine Coon they have their following and he's no different and and worth a visit wherever you're coming from um Mufasa is just a wonderful guy and we're hoping to get him adopted as soon as possible um so come on by or give us a call at 1603-539 one zero seven seven come by our shelter um, on old route 28 in Ossipee. we'd love to see you um, we look forward to meeting you and we can show you mufasa <laughs>